Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. This is your buddy Lyle with his Friday podcast. Thank you for giving me a week off. I enjoyed a very pleasant week out in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I came back refreshed and ready to roll. And it has dawned on me as the temperature outside here in Florida has risen and the humidity has gone up, that it is time for some spring cleaning tips, specifically on your C5 and your C6 Corvette. Now, no matter what anybody says in the comments below, this is not a video about nipples. It is not a video about milking, but there's going to be some of that going on because we're gonna teach you how to keep your wiper motor and your interior dry and safe as we enter spring and the rainy season. So let's step outside and I'm gonna walk you through on a partially disassembled car where the drains are that you're gonna to need to clean and why. All right guys, we're outside here with a 2000 Corvette that we are in the middle of disassembling for parts. And I saw this body sitting out here ready to go back to the warehouse and there were some things that I wanted to cover with you regarding the drains on the well in front of the windshield. So this well here collects water and then there are one, two, three, and on the other side, one more drain that kind of collect dirt and debris. See, watch this. You have to get in here and squeeze them like this to get all the leaf matter and all the garbage out of here. Okay, and you keep doing that, eventually everything comes out and they're clear. There's three of them. What happens is when these get plugged, this well fills up with water and drowns your wiper motor and your module. And if you know anything about electronic modules, water in them, they don't get along so good. So you wanna make sure these are clean. Look at this, this one's absolutely, here, I'm gonna actually pull this one out. This one is absolutely solid filled with just garbage and stuff. Even if your car doesn't spend a lot of time outside, you'd be amazed what kind of filth they pick up. And you can pull these out and do what I just did. And then you just make sure that you pinch them and get them back in the hole and secure them. This is obviously very easy to do with everything out of the way. For this, you're gonna kind of reach back under the brake booster, like right here next to the brake booster to get down inside of here to get to these. So that's step one. Let's go to the other side of the car and get to step two. Now, as that well goes completely across the underside of the car here, if these are plugged and it fills up, not only does it drown your wiper motor and your wiper module, but it will also begin to backfill into your AC box and start leaking onto the floor of your interior which if you know anything about C5s and C6s, that's a bad thing because so many electronics are located right near the base. On the passenger side of the car, you have this long convoluted drain. And you can see this one also is full of garbage, right? Now, you can't reach down from the top of the car to reach this. So imagine that the fender is still here there is a splash panel behind your front wheel that goes like this and then makes a right angle and goes backward. It's held in with screws and push pins. You can take that off, jack your car up a little bit, and then you can get access to this to clean it out. The problem is everybody thinks about doing that side, which is great, but if you don't do all four of the drains, you can still run the risk of flooding your car and flooding your wiper motor and module. There's one other drain I wanna show you while I'm out here. Follow me. Can you see this little drain right here? It's like a little miniature nipple. It's so cute and squeezable. This is actually the condensation drain for your air conditioning. So this also can collect crap inside of it. And if you don't clean that out, guess what? Since the condensation can't come out this way, it goes back into the compartment and floods the passenger side floor. So this one's a little tougher to reach. The way you get to this one, and it's a stay right there, Alan. The way you get to this one, so the right hand head of the engine ends right here and there's a big wiring harness that wraps around here. So you actually have to go in, kind of get past that harness. What I recommend is if you can get this, this just pulls off. If you can squeeze this out, you can clean it out, then stuff your hand back in there and just press that back on and you're done. So the three drains on the driver's side, 
Some earlier cars had two, some had three, but you'll feel them if they're there. This drain, if you can get to it to prevent your AC from overflowing, and the great big drain over here to do the passenger side of this well. This is a very good time, by the way. Your battery sits here. This bracket holds your electronic uh, engine control module, uh, your tack module, main harness junctions, all kinds of stuff in this area. While you have this panel off to do this, take a good look at this stuff and make sure that your battery isn't leaking acid onto this area because that can be a real problem if you don't catch it. So keep that in mind while you go in here, make sure you have a flashlight. And uh, obviously, if you're gonna jack the car up to do this, make sure you do it safely with jack stands and wheel chocks and all the smart things you have to do so that I don't get sued for getting you hurt by doing something stupid. Anyway, that is how you drain out the nipples and the tubes from your wiper well before the rainy season hits so that you and your Corvette don't inadvertently go swimming. So there you go, guys. That's how you go ahead and clean out the udders under your wiper compartment, okay? And your AC uh, condensation vent. We just saw that. Now remember, that's C5s and C6s. I honestly don't remember if C6 has one on the passenger side like the C5 does. And I don't have a car here today that I can tear into. So don't tear anything apart on your C6 if you're not quite sure, but they're all definitely on the driver's side all the way through 97 through 2013. Go ahead and get this done now before the big rains hit and before you cause yourself unneeded damage. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to comment below and I will answer every comment I can possibly get to. I usually get to most of them. Uh, otherwise, you can email me with extended questions here at lyle at cndescorvettes.com or lyle at corvettepartscenter.com. I look forward to talking to you guys next week with more exciting stuff. Have a good week.